isang magandang buhay para sa in- ating lahat. So, we are going to continue our lesson. So, and right now, we are going to discuss for the functions. All we know that arise whenever two things are related to each other or a one a quantity depends on another by some type of rule of correspondence, according to Zorilia 2016. All we know that mathematical entities that give unique outputs to a particular inputs usually in the form of an equation or diagram. So these are kinds of functions. All we know, alam natin na constant function, so alam natin linear function, alam din natin yung quadratic function, cubic function, polynomial function, rational function, logarithmic function, exponential function, trigonometric function. Lastly, we have inverse trigonometric function. So pag idiniscuss to, usually dinidiscuss to sa amin sa engineering yan, mga yan. Pero tayo, di tayo magpo-focus sa operations of functions. So, we have the, uh, some difference product quotient and composition of functions. So, alam natin ang addition, i-distribute lang natin yan. So, we have fx plus gx. Ito naman, fx minus gx. Ito, fx times gx. O, diba, dinidistribute lang natin. Ha? Or fx over gx. So, for the composition, we have f multiplied by g multiplied by x, quantity of x. So, pero uunahin mo na itong solvent before this one, e hanggang dito. Parang ganun, di ba? So, so, we have here the value of for the fx, 2x plus 5, and then gx is equal to x squared minus 4. So, ang unang gawin natin, addition. So, fx plus gx. So, diba sabi sila 2x plus 5 plus, ito yan ha. So, x squared minus 4. So, ito yung x squared plus 2x. 5 minus 4 is equal to positive 1. So, this will be our final answer. Hindi naman natin ito mapapaktor eh. Kung mga ito na yan. So, next. Paano naman yung subtraction? So, ganun din. 2x plus 5 Minus naman to. Open, close, parenthesis, x word, minus 4. Bakit? Para at least may distribute natin dito. Yan. Kasi kat- kanina, di siya to. Parehas lang yan. Eh, pero pag dito kasi magbabago, sa ito mga to, di ba? So, magiging 2x plus 5, negative x squared, plus 4. Because negative times negative is positive 4. So, we have negative x squared plus 2x. So, 5 plus 4 is equal to positive 9. So, this will be our final answer. Next, so we have fx multiplied for the gx, so 2x plus 5 times x squared minus 4. So, alam natin yun na, itong gagamitin natin. So, i-distribute lang natin siya. So, 2x multiplied by the x squared plus 5 times x squared plus 2x minus 4 multiplied by negative 4 plus 5 times multiplying the negative 4. Okay. So, here, 2 ta- x times x squared, we have 2x cubed. 5 times x squared, negative, because negative 4 multiplied 2x is negative 8x, and 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. So, this will be our final answer. Next, for division naman, 2x plus 5 over 2x squared minus 4. Alam natin to na kaya natin i-factor kasi this is a perfect square. So, x, x plus minus is because this is a negative. 2, 2 factor of 4. That is two. So, this will be our final answer. Hindi natin pwede cancel ito ha? Kasi ibang bat ang kinakancel yung x. Hindi pwede. Ayan, x squared. Ayan, di ba yung factor niya? E, paano naman daw eh, kung may value yung x natin for the fx and gx? So, substitute lang din natin. So, I perform the operation. Ito yung plus. So, substitute natin yan. 4 times 2 plus 5 plus 8 minus quantity 3 is squared. Remember, ang may minus, yung x lang, value lang ng x ang ating squared. Hindi kasama yung negative. Okay. So, we have the final answer is 12. Because 3 times 3 is 9. This is 8. And... So, ang pag-chikinumpit natin yan, 12 ang makukuha natin. Paano na daw yung multiplication? O ito, open, may kasama natin ang sign. Di ba? 
So 4 times negative 2 plus 5 times 8 minus quantity of 2 raised to square root. So we have negative 8 plus 5, 8 minus 4. So we have negative 12 because this is a negative 3. Diba? So ito yung ating seat work na gagawin nyo. And then after you finish, kindly upload it in your uh, Google Classroom. So para I'll be discussing this sa nususulod nating klase. Okay, uh, I hope na nag-enjoy kayo sa aking uh, lecture. And then, see you next time. Ciao!